think, Liam, the first thing that I would say, because I want to speak to, I'm sure a lot of the people that are watching this right now, they, they know by now they should be doing videos because it's like everybody and their mother is talking about how great videos are. And you hear these stories uh, like mine and other people that have created these businesses out of thin air. But I want to talk to the person that hasn't done a video yet because I was that person a year ago almost to the day. Um, I, for an entire year, I procrastinated. I would have people all the time that would say, you're such a great speaker, you're this, you're that, you need to do videos. But I, and I knew it, but I was paralyzed. I just couldn't get myself to do it. I, I really struggled with the thought of putting myself out there and I struggled with the thought of, do I really have anything to say or, do, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in this particular area or I'm not super successful here. You know, what, what do I have to share that people are going to even care to hear about? And so I battled the, this, you know, this was the tape that was playing in my mind when I finally was able to just put myself out there. And, and a lot of the people that I coach in this area, I see it time and time again that every single person, when they're willing to just have the courage to put themselves out there, they start to see tremendous results. Now, tremendous results could be um, just simply people reaching out to you and saying how much of a difference your video made to them. It could be um, you know, customers or recruits for your business or whatever it is you're looking to do. But my message to the people that are watching is you do have something to share right now that can make a difference in other people's lives. And every single one of us have information that if we can put out there. So, you know, you and I were talking earlier about how, you know, you do, and I hope you don't mind me sharing this, but I think it's really powerful about how you're, you've created a successful brand by bringing other people together, like experts of other areas. You bring them to one place. And what's interesting is just because you're the guy that brings them together, people look at you as an expert now, right? Because you have, cult, you've, kind of like cultivated and you've curated all this information. And that's what we do when we create videos. All we do is teach people the things that we've learned from other people. When I first started doing videos, I would say, hey guys, I just wanted to shoot this quick video. I just watched this video by this guy, Liam, and I had this huge aha moment. Let me share it with you. And that's all I did in the beginning is I just started, you know, my, one of my mentors, uh, Ray Higdon, um, calls this invest, learn, teach, ILT. All you do is if you invest time and money in your own learning and development, all you have to do is take all of that knowledge and start teaching other people. And what's really powerful is if you can do that, if you keep teaching, even though you're telling people, it's not my information, people will start to look at you as an expert and an authority. So I think it's important to start out saying that because until we get in, like we could talk about all the technical aspects of when to post on Facebook and how to do this, but unless we can help people think differently about video, all of that stuff doesn't matter. And that's the message I want to get across is that you just got to start. You got to get yourself out there. Um, in terms of the technical aspects of it, so here's one of the things that's really important to understand. A big mistake that I see people making with, with video on Facebook is they will, so let's say I started out doing blog posts. So one of the things that I would do is when I created a blog post, I would um, just upload the, you know, the URL to the blog post. So it would, you know, it, it would upload the image and, but you're clicking on the image and it's taking you to my website. Or a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll start, they'll start a YouTube channel and they'll take their YouTube link and they'll share it on Facebook. And if you click on it, you're then going to YouTube, right? So you're leaving Facebook. That, you can do that, but it's important to understand that the way Facebook works is they don't like when you have to leave Facebook to watch a video. So what's interesting is you could have that video on YouTube that you share on Facebook, or you could take the same video and you could do what is referred to as natively uploaded. So that's when you upload it right into Facebook. So those are those videos that we see all the time where you're just scrolling through your newsfeed and it starts to play. That's a native video. When you upload directly into Facebook, you will get a hundred times the amount of, 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 of views because the way the Facebook algorithm works is they will show those videos to more people See, when you, when you link that YouTube video or when you just do a link to your blog, 
not as many people are going to see that because of that fact. So it's important for people to understand that if you really want to leverage the power of video with Facebook, um, you need to be uploading the videos directly into the platform.